questions. My time is uh, very limited. I will uh, tell you one more story. This time something that has to do with driving a car. It's not something that I do very often. And on one of the um, occasions that I had to go to a performance of this particular thing, I rented a car and uh, a Mercedes-Benz, you know, German Autobahn, you know, so, so I didn't have any kind of music listening. So I, uh, I was forced to listen to the radio, which can be a very, very bad experience. <laughs> I didn't think it used to be that bad, but nowadays it's a really bad experience. So I was driving somewhere in the Frankfurt area of Germany towards, I believe, Heilbronn on the Autobahn, and I'm a fairly careful driver. It means I'm very frightened driving a car on the German Autobahn, so I, I'm in there and driving, and I turn on the radio, and I listen. First, I listen to classic FM which is the, you know, the Lenore of, uh, of radio stations. And uh, you look out, you're on the Autobahn and you know, ooh, um, classic FM, the landscape is very nice, makes a lot of sense, together with Samuel Barber's string, Adagio for strings or something like that. And, and it's all fine, but the white stripes on the, on the actual asphalt and all that doesn't make much sense. Like the whole, doing of driving doesn't make much sense with what you hear. So I started started channel hopping in there and I ended up with a radio station called Radio Sunshine, <laughs> which fascinated me because I believe they don't actually play records. I think what they play is some elaborated computer program that just takes particular elements and puts them together in new forms over and over and over again. Everything was in 4-4, everything was in the same speed, everything was harmonically basically the same thing, so I just thought this is impossible that somebody makes this record, this is just something that automatically just generated somehow. <laughs> I think you know what kind of music I'm talking about. Yeah, so so I listen to that and I'm in the car and you know everything is just the right driving speed and uh, so I will I will simulate that for you what happened there to me. Some I'm sure I'm sure in, in the audience there are some electronic musicians and some people that know how to work with a computer so you will understand what I'm talking about. So I'm driving and there is this no I'm driving a little bit slower than that. got that thing you have to basically ignore this it's not there it's it's what's called a grid and this grid is what computer musicians people that work with a computer to create music see as dividing up their their time there so there's a grid it's a bit like you know yeah, a grid and uh, 
in that grid, which is of course 4-4, four, four, so now I'm driving you, one, two, three, four, two, two. I was sitting there listening to the radio and just counting. I heard everything they're doing and I went, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, uh. And on every uh, something would happen because not everything was built around four. So, basically, things happen like this. It's a radio station, and radio stations, especially in Germany, have somebody has to sing in English. So they offered a pure student, a poor student, some room in the basement where he can live and study with his dictionary, and he has to come up with lyrics that he has to send upstairs always to be somehow worked into that. Actually, I've got my stripes. So, he comes up with lyrics. Hey, cosmic baby, do you want to dance? <laughs> into some minor cadence, usually a minor descending cadence, it's like this. Thank <laughs> you. 